CN79, John F. Kennedy. USS John F. Kennedy CVN79 is the second Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier built for the United States Navy. The ship was launched on the 29th of October 2019 and christened on the 7th of December 2019. On the 7th of December 2007, the 66th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor, Arizona Congressman Harry Mitchell proposed naming this ship Arizona. In 2009, Arizona Congressman John Chadegg proposed naming either CVN-79 or the subsequent CVN-80 as Barry M. Goldwater after the late U.S. Senator, also from Arizona. On the 29th of May 2011, the Department of Defense announced that the ship would be named for John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States who served in the Navy during World War II. She will be the third Navy ship named after members of the Kennedy family, and the second aircraft carrier named John F. Kennedy, succeeding USS John F. Kennedy CV-67, which was active from 1968 to 2007. On the 15th of January 2009, Huntington Ingalls Industries High Northrop Grumman Ship Building was awarded a $374 million contract for design work and construction preparation for John F. Kennedy. On the 30th of September 2010, Northrop Grumman announced that preparations were underway to begin construction. On the 25th of February 2011, the Navy conducted the first cut of steel ceremony at Northrop Grumman in Newport News signaling the formal start of construction for John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy was originally planned to be completed in 2018. This was extended to 2020 after Secretary of Defense Robert Gates announced in 2009 that the program would shift to a five-year building program so as to place it on a more fiscally sustainable path. By late 2012, delays had occurred in construction and the Navy Department was investigating extending the construction time of both Enterprise and John F. Kennedy by an additional two years, which could delay the carrier's entry into service until 2022. In September 2013, the Government Accountability Office recommended delaying the detailed design and construction. Contract for John F. Kennedy until programmatic shortfalls are sorted out. The Navy and Defense Department have rejected the recommendation. The Navy faces technical, design, and construction challenges to completing Gerald R. Ford, including producing systems prior to demonstrating their maturity to meet required installation. Dates Gerald R. Ford had costs increase by 22% to $12.8 billion, and additional increases could follow due to uncertainties facing critical technology systems and shipbuilder underperformance. Risk is introduced in the Navy's plan to conduct integration testing of key systems at the same time as initial operational test and evaluation. One action the GAO says could be taken to ensure Ford-class carrier acquisitions are supported is conducting a cost-benefit analysis of required capabilities and associated costs. On the 1st of October 2019, the ship's crew was activated for the first time as pre-commissioning unit PCU John F. Kennedy at a ceremony aboard the vessel at Newport News Shipbuilding. On the 29th of October 2019, Newport News Shipbuilding began flooding the dry dock where John F. Kennedy has been under construction. The process of filling the dry dock with more than 100 million U.S. gallons, 380 million L, 83,000. Zero imp gal of water took place over several days, and it marked the first time the ship has been in water. Once the ship was afloat, she was moved to west end of the dry dock. The ship was christened on the 7th of December 2019 by Caroline Kennedy, who reenacted the bottle bash she did when the first John F. Kennedy CV-67 was christened 52 years earlier. In November 2020, 
HII received a nine-figure modification on an earlier contract to accomplish CVN-79 single-phase delivery and joint strike fighter F-35C capabilities in Newport News, Virginia. According to the contract announcement, the single-phase delivery approach is adopted to meet both fleet requirements and a congressional mandate of ensuring that CVN-79 is capable of operating and deploying joint strike fighter F-35C aircraft before completing the post-shakedown availability as codified in Section 124 of the Fiscal 2020 National Defense Authorization Act Public Law 116-92. The ship is projected to begin testing her electromagnetic aircraft launch system in 2022 and her combat system in 2023. In the same year, the U.S. Navy awarded a contract worth almost $400 million to high for upgrades to the ship's flight deck, island, and weapon systems. She is scheduled to be delivered in 2025. General Characteristics, Class, and Type Gerald, our Ford-class aircraft carrier. Displacement, about 100,000 long tons, 100,000 tons, full load. Length, 1,106 feet, 337 meters. Beam, 134 feet, 41 meters waterline, 256 feet, 78 meters flight deck. Draft, 39 feet, 12 meters. Installed power, to A-1B nuclear reactors. Propulsion, for shafts, speed in excess of 30 knots, 56 kilometers per hour, 35 miles per hour, range, unlimited distance, 20 to 25 years, complement, 4,660. Sensors and Processing Systems An OSP-Y3 Multifunction Radar MFR X-Band Active Electronically Scanned Array an ISP-Y6 Volume Search Radar VSRS Band Active Electronically Scanned Array Armament Anti-Aircraft Missiles To times are IM-16 to ESSM Launchers To times are IM-116 Ram Launchers Guns 3 times Phalanx CIWS For times M to 0 .50 cal 12.7 mm Machine Guns Aircraft carried More than 80 Can hold up to 90 combat aircraft Aviation facilities, 1,092 feet to 156 feet, 333 meters, 78 meters flight deck, 